Hello, Ben here, and welcome to another sealed Zendikar Rising on Magic Arena. Uh, so this is our second sealed of the new set, and we're going to go ahead and see what we open and try and build a good deck out of it. All right, so right away we got a couple of inscriptions um, for our rares. We've got the black one, uh, which allows you to... Force them to discard two cards. You can return a creature with permanent cost two or less to your from the graveyard to the battlefield, and you can destroy a creature with converted mana cost three or less. Pretty versatile. Uh, the blue inscription lets you draw, scry and draw two cards, return a couple creatures to their owner's hand, or create a XX illusion where X is the number of cards in your hand. You've got a mythic, which is our ancient greed warden. It's got reach, and you can play lands from your graveyard. Um, and anytime a land would enter the battlefield, it would cause a triggered ability on a permanent your control to trigger. Uh, you trigger it twice, so any, all your landfalls will trigger twice with this guy out. Got Null Priest of Oblivion. It's a two-one life link, but if you have enough mana to kick it, you can also return a creature from your graveyard to play. Uh, so that's a really good early and late game card. We've got an undo inversion, six man or uh, sorry, eight mana to destroy all online permanents, or you can just play it as a land. We've got a Maul of the Skyclaves, so this is a gives a it's an equipment that gives a creature plus two plus two and flying for strike, and it attaches it as soon as it comes into play. And then you can reattach for two and double white. So some pretty strong rares to support whatever deck we build, but uh, hopefully we have some good stuff in the rest of our colors. Let's see how this goes. All right, so let's look at our white real quick. Uh, so here we've got a couple of practice tactics, a bunch of expedition healers. We got the Maul. Um, we've got an Ahiri's Binding, some arrest effect, but can also hit Planeswalkers. Uh, we've got an Attended Healer. Basically, it's a two-three that creates an extra one-one every time you gain life, or at least the first time you gain life each turn. Uh, you can also give cleric another cleric lifelink to help trigger it. You've got a couple of 2-2 two -two flying birds that return lands to your hand. Shepherd of Heroes, 3-4 flyer with some bonus life attached to it. And the inversion that we saw before as well as the equipment. So seems like some serviceable cards, uh, but we'll see how the rest of our colors fare. So we didn't get much blue here. Um, couple of anti-cognitions, a couple into the royal, geyser mage, inscription, thought thief, but we only got like one creature out of all of our blue, so I doubt we're going to be able to play that. Uh, when it comes to our black, let's see what we've got here. Got a blood beckoning to return two creatures from our graveyard to our hand if we kick it or just one otherwise. Got our, that Null Priest we were talking about earlier, an inscription, a couple of Sky Dancers, two on Flyers that with Flash that mill your opponent for two. Uh, Plocker Predation, uh, opponent reveals their hand, discards a card with your greater, or you can play it as a land. A bunch of Blood Price. Um, okay, card draw spell. Thwart to Grave to return a Cleric or Rogue or Warrior or Wizard to, your, to play, as well as one other creature. Deadly Alliance, that's good removal. Let's check our red. Uh, so red, we've got Cinderclasm, which is does one damage to all creatures, or you kick it for doing two damage to all creatures instead. So it's a good little mini board wipe. Uh, got a couple of these warriors uh, that become four threes if you have other warriors out. A little bit of removal. Not super excited about the red. Um, we got a couple of landfall cards in case the green can support the red, but let's see what we've got in green first. So green, uh, not seeing a ton of exciting things. We got the return a uh, land from your or return any card to your hand from from uh, your graveyard. So basically, regrowth that could be a land. Um, got a roiling regrowth to search for extra lands, put them in the battlefield tapped. Uh, but does help to fix a couple of light blades. Horn beetle, if we have a plus one plus plus one counter theme going on, but doesn't really look like we got there. Canopy Bayloth, um, it's good landfall. Work well with the Green Warden, uh, but 
Still not super excited about green. Let's see if we got any good artifacts. Just a couple here. Skyclave Sentinel, Pack Beast, and a Utility Knife. So looking at what we got, I think um, I want to try and see what the black-white looks like. Um, it seems to have the most removal to work with. Got a lot of recursion um, to bring creatures back. Uh, we have the nice, you know, super board wipe if we need it. I like being able to make your opponent discard cards. Um, it's about, you know, getting rid of their hand when they're holding lands for things like landfall. It's always nice and being able to, you know, destroy cheap creatures is also good. Um, so, you know, it gives us a, a, our best suite for removal. Um, Deadly Alliance. Um, so yeah, we got four straight up removal spells plus this uh, inversion. I like the Sky Dancers. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and resort this. So no priest will definitely get in. Might play the Muck Lord. Get the Sky Dancers going. The predation is nice because it could be a land or a creature or a spell. Get Deadly Alliance. Uh, depending on what we have, we might play the Fourth the Grave. Let's get the Shepherd of Heroes going and this inversion. I'm gonna put over here since it could be a land as well. A couple of Raptors. Definitely the, the Mall of Skyclave should be pretty strong. Uh, especially if we can get some of these Expedition Healers out early. Uh, got the Tendon Healer. Uh, let's see, where are we at with creatures? So we got 12 creatures so far. Let's go ahead and bring our colorless in here as well. Um, I think this Pack Beast is definitely serviceable. It, it, it works well with the party mechanic. We have several cards here that we would care about it. Um, I think I will go ahead and put that in. Um, let's see, do we have anything that really gives plus one, plus one counters? I guess just the um, Muck Lord. Not super exciting, but it does some work. Um, might want to try this to work the grave. Might be able to sort of go with a bit of an attrition strategy here. The question is, do we want the ox? I think the ox is serviceable. Uh, blood prices, we have a lot of ways to gain life with these healers um, but and the shepherd of heroes, especially if we can recur it. tactics we have let's see what, how we're doing for on our creature types we've got seven clerics and a, two rogues and then I guess one of everything if we consider the pack beast um, so not that exciting um, not sure how much we need this muck lord I do like the three toughness on it. There's a lot of two power creatures in this set. Oh, that, what is that? 14 creatures? Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Um, again, none of the other colors really seem to get there. So I think I might just go ahead and try this. I think the blood prices and Thwart the Grave to recur some creatures is going to help us out. Uh, as far as what to cut here, I'll probably just go ahead and cut one of the swamps since I definitely want to make sure I'm getting the planes early um, for our, all these two twos. And yeah, I think that we can go ahead and give this a try. The question is, do we want to put in the Blood Beckoning? Um, and I think we'll go ahead and go without it for now. Um, we have a couple other ways. I mean, we've got the Thwart the Grave to re recur some of our creatures. And 
Yeah, I think that's I think that's good. So let's go ahead and try try this. Um, make sure we didn't miss anything. Yeah, let's go ahead and give that a try. All right, so I will uh, see you guys for round one. All right, so here we are for round one of this sealed Zendikar draft. Um, given that we have this predation, I think we can go ahead and keep this hand. Uh, got a couple expedition healers, sky dancer. Uh, opponent took a mulligan, so yeah, I'll just like keep this. I'm gonna go ahead and put out the predation first, uh, just to make sure I have black on two. I don't wanna, or basically on three, because I don't wanna. I wanna go swan or play the caverns, plains, then the healer. I can always get it back with the Tazim Raptor later if I need to. Get our black source out. Inscription. Which we could do, but I think we'll just go ahead and put the Sky Dancer out next turn. I'd rather save this for a little bit more value. Such as mind rotting them when they're down to two cards. Okay, so they're going to feed the swarm. Next turn we can play the Null Priest and the Expedition Healer if we'd like. Indestructible, which doesn't matter because we can't block it anyway. So the question becomes, do I want to save the Null Priest for when I get another black source? I think, um, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, let's go ahead and get in for two. Don't want to trade off with, with that guy. So I'm going to play the Expedition Healer. I don't think I need to return any lands, so I'm just going to go ahead and play it out. And I'd rather get some extra black mana for this or this, so I don't, there's no reason to return this to my hand. Okay. So here, I could kill the rogue, get in with this healer. And I think that makes the most sense. Um, It'll trigger our, our attendant healer. Yeah, you know, they can block this or or whatnot if they need to. combat trick for the, the the protector at least we'll get a token out of the the exchange Sky Dance. 
sure it's fine. She's on a walk. We lost our inversion in the swamp. I'm a, that's fine. They're flashing it out, but all right. So I really like to hit another land here. Just gonna keep attacking with the flyers. They will probably trade at this point. We're able to get out um, a swamp we can bring back to the raptor and the healer. Can't really tackle with this guy anymore. Finding the two one. So I'm just going to play the 2-2 two -two flyer. I'm going to bring back the planes and replay it just to have a little mana. Without revealing what's going on in our hand. Right, so, alright, killing our flyer. I thought that was a very similar deck with just a little bit of a splash or something. Shepherd of Heroes, that's great. in case they have a mind rot effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack in the air, see if they have any way of killing it. turn okay all right so that was game one i will see you guys for game two all right here we are for game two we are on the draw again uh i think we can keep this i might put the null priest out early this time just to start getting um, ahead on life but we'll see what we draw before we make that decision I think I'll also start um, drinking for a couple. I've got plenty of late game stuff to do. Don't need to hold this for the kicker. Alright, so we'll draw a shield of the Seagate. So, 3 3 flyer. If they can get. Um, full party they can give it or start detaining one of my creatures otherwise they can sacrifice to give hex gripper and destruct to their creatures for a turn uh, so attack them for two 
I'll play the Raptor. I'm not returning to him. We've got one more land. We can start using our blood price to find some more gas. Priest, it's understandable. Hitting us for three, I'm okay with that. So I guess we'll just um I'm gonna attack for two here. Get another pressure down. Go ahead and play the uh skull on it next turn. So I think I want to make sure I keep hitting my land drops. Um, they have open mana, there's no reason to risk this getting countered, though I don't think there's anything that can counter it at this cost, but they could negate it. Um, so let's just attack. Player blood price to see if we can draw some more stuff. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll take the alliance and the land. Unblockable and deal damage. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the pack beast with the mall to hopefully force them to start defending. With the monster turn clock. For sure, to the, the card draw there. But hopefully, I'll keep the, the Linvala back and we can kill it next turn. Or play the Ox and tap something down. So, taking five. Now we're going to have to hold back a little, I think. So we can play the Ox. Tap this down and swing in for two, and then keep our first striker on to block with. We can deal with this, we just die next turn. Um, so I think it might be correct not to attack here. And hold off. Start at combat. So if they have a what is it? If they need a warrior. Here we'll tap. Let's see what we want to tap down. Let's think through this turn. 
So if we tap down the shepherd and attack with the ox, it becomes basically a one for one. Um, so let's go ahead and tap down the diviner because it's the only one we don't want them to block with. turn. So it's only has a party of three. Um, so I think it may be correct at this point to just kill the Linvala. Uh, since we'll only be able to cast one self turn. We have to do that. Some more life. Um, but I think I need to force them to. Well, I guess one thing we could do is attack with the Expedition Healer and the Ox and then work the grave if they don't block. Just put them all on the Expedition Healer. That would be a good idea. Let's do that. Attack with both. You start whittling away their creatures here. four off of this. I'm going to go ahead and kill the sure-footed um, rather than allow them to just draw an extra card for free. And since I can only cast one spell per turn, I'm going to go ahead and do this now. So let's just go ahead and take that. That forced them to be able to get rid of both of these, but if they were able to get rid of both of them, um, I feel like they would have done it by now. Go ahead and attack again with our expedition healer. Uh, 
Let's not attack the Cleric's Vision Healer. Let's, um... Let's put down this Cleric to gain a little bit more life. Before we do that. Yeah, not being able to cast one in one spell turn is a bit rough, but they're in the same predicament well, as long as they keep that out. So I think we can go ahead and predation and see what they're working with. Um, more information. Okay, so we're killing our flyer and they have a squid. Okay. Um, yeah, I still feel like we're kind of at a stalemate here. I don't want to attack with that. So for now, wait. So the question is, I think we go ahead and attack here, force them to block it, gain some life, and then bring it back as well as our other healer. And then we can re-equip. We know what they have in hand. Two wizards and a bunch of clerics. Um, yeah, let's just, I mean, it's gonna give them two more cards, but there's no way around that, and I need to start um, whittling away the other. Um, so I could play this and put the Skyclave Maul on it and then start making kitties. And then do the Thwart the Grave next turn. I think we should do that. And then pass. get through all these flyers. What I might need to do is just hold out until we get our inversion. Okay, so getting rid of them all. That's smart. So here we have to do the Thwart the Grave. Get back our Shepherd. Uh, I 
ich von meinen Ring. That was weird. So I guess when you click it, I wanted to unclick it, but that didn't give me a chance. Um, yeah, it's gonna hurt. What I was trying to do was unclick it so I could click on the ox, but it didn't give me the option. So play our land. Turn. So I should have an ox on the battlefield right now. I don't know that would have made a difference, but we'll see. Walk like that. I guess there's some some benefit to walking with the raptor on the three two instead of um, the shepherd, but it's okay. Sky Dancer doesn't super help us. Um, just block the Muck Lord. So, how's your turn? So now we have a Vanquish the Weak. So hopefully we can get them to overcommit. At this point, I might just go to decking. Way this is helping me a little bit because it keeps them from multi spelling.
Okay, so here we can go down to two. To block the wizard and kill the shepherd, keep our shepherd alive. I only have two flyers. If they get rid of this, then that's game. Um, I could attack the pack beast just to get a little bit of a life buffer. How many attackers would that leave them with? I don't think that's the right call. I think I need it on defense. It's going to get the second humor out. Land, just in case. I feel like if we can draw the inversion next turn, we'd be okay, but I'm guessing they probably have more removal. What do you think? Forces our hand. back here and then just hit the inversion and hope that I can draw some creatures. They're down to seven cards in the library, so... I guess we just do the desperation attack. Because there's no real reason to with those, we just attack with these two. at least, I guess. Now they can dump their hand out. Great. Let's do all the things. I think we want the null priest back. Ow, okay. And that was enough. That was an intense game. But a good game too. Alright, so I guess I'll see you guys for round three. Here we are for game three with our black white clerics deck. And this looks like a keep to me. So we got the Recondition Healers, followed up with the Muck Lord or a little Raptor, depending on what we draw. So the 
question becomes, do we... I might put this predation down. And get the heal... Get this healer online. Um, that ensures that we can get the attendant healer on turn four. I always bring this back Raptor if I start drawing a bunch of land. But I want to make sure that I can hit this on turn four. Which I would not have been able to had I not done that. So I'm going to get the attendant healer down. Attack with both expedition healers. Create a 1-1. One -one. See if we can find an answer for it. So I think I'll take the mall. Do we think we'll draw another land soon? And take the shepherd. Um, yeah, I think the shepherd's too good. Uh, no need to attack. Taking four. Let's see if they have another one. Yep. So here we'll get the, the mall online. Uh, four, four, five, good one. First striker. Oh, to attack. Um, I don't see any reason to block. Once I build up enough of these, then we can block. So do we think they have an instant kill spell for this? Let's Trust that attack into a first striker. I think we can just take the five. Probably has a pump spell. Ah, shelter. Okay. Let's put out our stomp. Attack for four again in the air. Honestly, it looks like next turn, depending on what they do, we might just be able to overrun them with the, the kitty cats. Its binding is on the creature, not the Okay. So if I move this, the mall to the expedition healer. Four in the air, they block, they block, they block. It's three, so not enough. So let's just go ahead and move it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're close to being able to inversion if they have it, so I'm just gonna hold back.
after. Bring back the protection spell. draining us. Let's go ahead and just ditch these two. Plus one, plus one, no. Block those caps. Clave is no joke. All right, so that was game three, and I'll see you guys for out for game four. All right, here we are for our next match with our 3 0 clerics deck. Uh, yeah, I think this is fine to keep. Got oh, lands, got spells, got removal. Here I'm just gonna blood price. Try and hit land drops. Um, so it's gonna take the inversion just in case we don't draw another land. Uh, question is, do we want another blood price or do we want one of these sky dancers? Um, let's go ahead and grab a sky dancer. That way we have the ability to attack in the air. Feels like our opponent probably didn't have any removal in the last couple turns if they weren't attacking. Here, I think I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the binding on the creature. Just 
start attacking in the air. See if, um, puts counters on it. If he chooses to uh, make it into a creature, then we'll. how we're going to deal with this. It's going to get out of control pretty quickly. Um, so I think what we do here, well, if we vanquish this now, then we're just going to give another counter to that. So I think we'll just go ahead and take the six. They can't activate that. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the inscriptions. The cleric. Kill this guy. Just keep attacking. Can block with the two two if. They attack for six. So, if they attack for six, we might just let it through and swing them back with our 2 2. Here we got this block. Round two. So if we put down expedition healer. So we're gonna put down the expedition healer. If they have removal, they shouldn't be able to animate that in the same turn. If they do animate an attack, we can just block with the healer. Not sure what Han's holding, probably I was just hoping to get through with the barons. Draws might be that um, cleric that gives lifelink to other creatures. Or thwart the grave and get back those more clerics. back here. Three creatures, rather. 
because all those are lethal. Let's go ahead and attack for th three in the air. So now if they kill the Muck Lord, we can put the counter on the Shepherd to finish them off. Okay, so Relic Robber. Just leaves them dead on the board. Attack for four. All right. Whew. That was close. Um, so, see you guys for next round. All right, here we are for another game. We're currently sitting at four wins. Uh, that looks like pretty standard keep. Very similar to the game we had that first game, that last game. He has four more instant and sorcery cards. It gets plus three, plus one. Discard a card. Exile top two cards of your library and choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. Okay. Um, so I'm not worried about the getting big right now, but it does kind of give them filtering. I've only got one card left in hand. Can we afford to take the turn off to... Price. I think we're going to go ahead and do that so we can try and double spell next turn. The two want to not be able to block with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they could just take both of these. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the predation down so that we can double spell next turn. Next turn we can double sky dancer.
said fork to the grave. Or we can just play double Sky Dancer next turn. Play Sky Dancer and Maul, but if they have any removal, I just lose immediately. Um, I think I'm just gonna pass. See if they attack with both. Lord and get the sky clave on it. I need to be able to block here. I mean, since the sorceries are looking at it, just the one. Try and finish me off with instant sorcery. Alright, pretty effective. I guess I could have played that differently and killed the fledgling a little bit earlier, but oh well. Alright, time to move on to the next game. Alright, so here we are. We are going first. Um, I'm, gonna keep this. I'm gonna go ahead and put out the predation as a land first, just to make sure we can hit our black source. We can always, like I've said before, we can always pick it up with the raptor if we want to play it as just a, a spell later on. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put out some more support. I need to attack. Right now I can make it a 2.15. Pretty big. So I think here I'm going to go ahead and play the healer and then put out the Sky Dancer on their turn. Following turn we can put out the Ox if we need to. Unblockable if they have a cleric, rogue, or warrior wizard on the field, and then if you have a pull full party, all their creatures draw cards and they can't be okay. Getting close to that full party. Here. Put that in the box. Uh. 
guess he just needs one more party filler that isn't a rogue or a wizard. So either a warrior or a cleric. Start drawing extra cards. I haven't drawn any of my removal yet, it's a little bit disappointing. Start hitting me for two and drawing cards. I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is attack in the air for two. And I'm gonna play the Raptor for Term of the Lands and then I play it. So I think I might um, take out the warrior because that would put them off um, having their full party. So let's do that. Lock up the healer. Here we can get back the ox and the cleric. Attack in the air. Is there anything we want to attack with on the ground? Yeah, let's go ahead and get the cleric back. Um, so a because then it's just free life. further off of there. Yeah, see anything that they block with is gonna take them off of there. I'm gonna save this land for the box. Attacking with 
the life linkers because again if they start blocking then it takes them off of their party here I'm gonna go ahead and return the caverns to my hand and see what they're working with Trampler, Hellion. Let's take them off the board here. Unless they draw an answer to the flyers, I think that's the game. The Royal Mage won't be enough to do it by itself. the next one. Alright, so here we are sitting at five and one. Um, oh boy, okay. Um, we're going first. This is a risky keep. I think I have to mulligan this. I mean, I do have... Well, I mean, I've got a bunch of clerics. Eh, you know what, I'm just... Let's just roll dice. I'm sure I want to go down to six on the play and hopefully he's not around here with us. So I'm gonna start getting healers out. a shepherd and a swamp. Let's make sure we can hit our land drops. So, hmm. so I could attack with both of these. We'll suspect that they left open so much mana. So if I attack with both of these, they could trade. Let me get the shepherd down. 
If they have a trick, we can deadly alliance. Let's do that while we have the initiative. I guess we just kill that now. Taking one a turn is not a big deal, and they're drawing at the top of their deck. Okay, so we could thwart the grave. Here we are with one more, hopefully one more game, currently six and one. Uh, I think we can, it's a little trickier, I think we'll go ahead and keep it. We're short of white mana, and we've got a couple of really expensive spells, but sometimes all you need is a couple of extra to heal up all the sky glaives. on this is just gravy. That doesn't matter. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I can't block until I have 8 cards in my graveyard. Down there, missing land drops, that's never good. Right, so this can't block, so I see no reason not to attack with the 2-3. I don't think there's any mess, anything that can really destroy us for three or four mana. Uh. 
start milling up land and the healer. Actually kind of helps us with the fourth grave. Oh, four colors. Not sure if that changes anything. Just Am I missing something? I don't think so. I'm just gonna attack everybody. Alright, and there we go. Kind of stumbled a little bit on land, um, but Mall of Skyclaves took the victory. Alright, so that is our seventh and final win for this particular sealed leaf. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe and see more of this kind of content. And I uh, wish you guys all a great afternoon.